What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another NBA 2K Blender tutorial. Today, my focus is going to be uh, my focus is going to be getting a model file into Blender. So, the previous video I showed you guys how to install the add-on to do this, and so in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually pull up a model. In Blender, so I'm using Blender 2.93.5. All right, so once you start it up, you click. Then I'm going to click A to select everything and press Delete. Okay, I'm going to zoom out by scrolling my middle mouse button out. <coughs> okay, so the next thing you need to do is make sure you have the Scene Properties tab clicked and the NBA 2K importer and exporter panel needs to be expanded as you can see here all right so then I need to minimize that I need to open a program called 7-zip just gonna open up 7-zip right here 7-zip file manager all right, so I've got it open now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my downloads folder if I can. And I've got to have a cyber face here somewhere. I'm hoping. Okay. Um, I think I see two cyber faces down here. What is this one? I don't know. That's a floor. Okay, well, I'm just going to click on this one. Or I'll use this one, Juan Toscano. Okay, so you need to get to a PNG file. And he has some sunglasses. Huh? But I'm going to click the regular PNG one. I'm going to double click that. Then I'm going to pull out a file called highhead.scene. It's right here. I'm going to drag that over to my desktop. Now I'm going to use a program called Notepad++. Double click that. It already has some files open, but that's okay. That highhead.scene file right here. I'm going to drag that over so that it opens. There it is. And so what I want to do next is search for a model file. I'm searching. I'm searching. A quicker way to do this would be to press Control F so you can easily search and just type in model. All right. So it's found the word model but we're not looking for that one so let's press find next all right so right here where it says binary then it has a bunch of stuff it starts with high head and then dot model at the end that is what we want okay that is what we want so I'm selecting that whole thing um, actually, I don't need to copy it or anything. I just need to look for that file in here. So, hi hit here it is right here. Oh no, that's math nodes. Hi hit. Oh, there it is, all the way at the top. So there it is. So I'm gonna drag that dot model file over to my desktop, and then. I'm going to minimize all of this stuff or close all of that either one because I have the two files that I need all right go back into blender over here at the NBA 2k importer and exporter panel you want to click the little folder and you want to click desktop because that's where we have the two files and the two files need to be in the same place so I'm going to double click high head scene, then I'm going to click import. Now for me, it said it, it doesn't let me import. Okay. It didn't work. 
and that's fine. And probably the reason why it didn't work is because this is a modded file. Some modders can lock you out of editing a file, which is fine. I don't even want to edit that file. So, um, I'm just trying to find one that's a good example. Actually, so let me, um, let me do this. Let me close Blender and I'll, I'll start from scratch. I'm actually going to get you guys a file that I know for sure is going to work. Let's see. Let's see if I got any PNG files in here. No? Okay, well, let me grab one from the game real quick. Don't mind this part. I'm just grabbing a file from the game. Uh, I'm just going to get one that I know. This is LeBron. So export. Export is complete. And there it is. So I'm just going to put that um, on my desktop, I guess. All right. So minimize this. So the png.if file, it doesn't say .if because my computer is not showing the extension, but this is a .if file. But when I go to 7-zip, all I need to do is just go over to my desktop. Desktop, where are you? Okay, doesn't want to let me go to desktop. Hold on one second. I'm trying to find the address for my desktop. Ugh. There it is. Alright, so now I'm on my desktop. I need to find PNG. There it is right there. So let me minimize this. PNG 1013.f. Again, I need the highhead.scene file, which is right here. Whatever scene file you pull out, it's going to correspond with, uh, I mean, if so like if I want to look at the, hold on one second, guys. If I want to pull out the, um, the beard or the hair, then I could use those dot .scene files. But I just want the body model, so I'm going to use highhead.scene. And let me get rid of this new. No. All right, so I'm going to open this highhead.scene file in Notepad++ again. Because the last one didn't work. So again, we're going to search for the word model, which I see at one time right here. So it takes me there. But this is the one. Wait, something's wrong. Huh. Oh, let me. Okay, this is the something's wrong. Because it was showing me the wrong high head dot scene. So I'll try this again. I guess that was the old high head dot scene. So let's do this. Let me show you where I'm at so I don't confuse you guys. All right, I've got the the PNG dot if file on my desktop. I've got seven seven zip, and I've got my desktop folder here. I double click on it and I gotta find this PNG file which is right here. Double click it inside of 7-zip. Go to highhead.scene. Drag that to my desktop. There we go. Then get Notepad++ and open this highhead.scene file. Okay, then we're gonna do the search for model. Alright, there it's found it. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. Highhead.9b blah 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 dot model. Okay. So pull up 7-zip and look for for that. Highhead 9b56. Yep. Ends in C2 dot model. Okay, great. So that's the model. Okay. So now I can minimize this and this. Now go back to Blender. We're gonna do what uh, we're going to open Blender again. We're going to do what we did the first time that didn't work, and it's going to work this time. All right. 
A to select all, delete. Make sure we're here with the scene properties. Come down here, click the little folder icon. Wanna go to my desktop right here. Wanna find highhead.scene. I can either press accept or I can double click it. And then click import. And there you go. See, the first time it failed because that was a modded file. And again, some modders can lock their files. Anybody can lock the file to where you can't open it in Blender. Okay, so now we have the LeBron James model. And I forgot how to make this look smooth. Uh, there's something I can do to make it look smooth. Okay. Well, I can't tell you right now. Uh, I can't remember what it is that makes it look smooth. Let's see. View. Or is it object, maybe? I can't remember, honestly. Having used this in a few months. But anyway. That's the cyber face right there. It's the entire body plus the face. That's how you open it. And if you want to export, let's say you made some changes. If you want to export, then we go back here to scene properties. And we would click this little folder now here under export. But don't put it back on your desktop. You need a different folder now. So I will have to find a different folder, let's say new folder, or let's say, let's just say music. I don't know. You would just need a different folder and then press accept. And then when you click export, the new dot model file will go to that new folder. So I'll click export. It's taking a while. Okay, it said error. See if it works. For whatever reason, it's saying error, file not found. I don't know why it's saying that. Um, but let me see if it's in the downloads folder. It is. It's right there in the downloads folder. Now, I don't know if it works properly or whatever, but it's right there. And this is what you would drag back inside of 7-Zip. You would drag that back inside of 7-Zip. And then it would ask you, are you sure you want to archive it? You would click yes. I'm going to click cancel because I, I didn't make any changes, but I'm just going to delete this. Now, I don't know why it gave me the error. Usually it doesn't give me an error, but it did give me an error, and that's okay. I don't, I don't know. Haven't checked yet. But this is how you import the file. Although I did show you how to export it. Also, the main point of this video was to import the file in, into Blender for manipulation. All right, that's all I have for this video, guys. That's all I have. Again. The last video I had showed you guys how to set it up to where you have this panel. All right, catch you in the next one.